doing out there? This is Mike from Rad Rod Heaven coming to you with a few of my Legos that I've been building um, here and there and changing things around. You guys who built Lego probably recognize these, um, but I moved a lot of stuff around because I think uh, even though they're Legos and they're well done and some of them are okay and some of them are not. I mean, the Lego people do them and they do the best they can, but we always find a little, we critics, you know how we are. We always find something to complain about. But some of them, you'll see in a minute, we really, really have a lot of problems. This one, the only problem this one has, this is the original way it came. As you can see, everything is in the way to the front door. You can't even get to the front door with all the stuff there. It doesn't mean it has to be there. It doesn't mean you got to put it there. But on their design, if you look at it, that's where it goes. A table, uh, all kinds of things in the front. So you can't even get to the door. I, don't, I didn't like the angle of it. Because uh, then you have to put it, if you put it in a city, if you make a city for it. Um, many people have Lego cities, uh, Lego towns. It'll be hard to put it like in a corner type of thing and see the front or the side on it. So I completely changed it around to make it the long way. I've seen a lot of people have it, made it even longer and even taller. They made a top for it. So that I did to it because I prefer it this way. Much, much better. Much easier to get to the door in and out. You don't have to climb over nothing. Everything is in its place. Sign, the top, uh, the kid, plants in the front that are going to change. These are all going to change. I had a windows. I have pieces already it wasn't like i had to look for anything the only thing which is hard to find but i did find it and i will get to it is the blue this baby blue type sand blue i got a few parts missing here and i'll show you the back in a minute because i'm going to enclose the back i enlarge this so i got to get a white plate which this is easy i have a whole bunch of them i just have to find them and and put them in and then in the back i ordered all the bricks let me show you I ordered the bricks, so the bricks are going to come in that sand blue, baby blue. And I am going to follow the line that it has on top, right here, this blue line that comes all the way around. The, I will follow it completely across, but the rest of the bricks are going to be white. They're not going to be mason bricks. They're going to be regular bricks. Let me see if I can pinch out a little. Hold on a second, guys. I'm sorry. I hope nobody gets upset about it, but I had to move the camera a little bit. So it'll definitely be regular bricks completely covered. In the front, inside, you can see I changed everything around completely. I made the countertop straight. I put the little refrigerator that it comes with. In the front here, I might move it, I might not. And then I ordered two for right here on the spot right here. I was going to put another table and stuff, to, but I'm going to end up doing it outside. I bought two machines, two game machines that are going to be put right here. So that's going to look nice. It's going to have two game machines inside the ice cream store, which will look really better. And then outside here is where I'll put the other table and the chairs to eat outside. I'm going to move this one. I'll talk more about this one when I um, finish it and be able to show it by itself. This was another one I bought. I uh, Let me tell you guys, I don't pay full price for these. I buy them, people who buy them in swap markets and flea markets i refuse to pay for some of these top dollars because i believe they're not worth it this is this and that's how it comes this came with a door that was in an angle i'll talk more about this also when i finish it and i just didn't like it i didn't like the look of it i didn't like the how small it was you could not even put one person inside this is how it went if you opened it it's a type that you open and close many people know what that is I completely made it, changed it, enlarged everything, the top apartment, the back of it. Everything is enlarged. I'm waiting for bricks also to come in so I can finish the green. And the balcony is going to be bigger. I'm not leaving this balcony here. It's going to be bigger. And the whole house, you can take it. It's mock type. You can take it completely apart and look all in the inside of it. So it all comes completely apart. And you can look in the inside. I'm going to put more toys in the inside. More books and stuff in the other side. And when I finish it. You'll see more of it too. And definitely 
you'll see what I'm talking about. This is all going to change the whole front end more. So you'll definitely see that. So I'll definitely get into that. This house here is supposed to be like a more modern house. And actually, when it went for, when it was new, it's $60. You can build it in, I believe, in three different ways. It comes with a big giant book like this. Three in one. It has three different modeling of building this house, which I care for none of them. This is the worst one I've seen so far from Lego. I'm sorry to say that, Lego. Hope nobody gets upset and goes after me. But this is horrible. I believe it retailed brand new for $60 in 2017 when it came out. Uh, the electric car piece to charge your car comes right out of a house, which I couldn't. That's something else to talk about. But um, no furniture, zero furniture, just two chairs, two chairs. As you can see inside, let me move my light a little here. There you go. Two chairs and two beds that I don't even know what they are, but that's how it came. The car, most tiniest car I've ever seen. And that's something else. Satellite, I mean, a uh, solar panel. Again, doesn't make any sense, but that's what they did. And there's one thing I hate the most on this house. I think Lego cheaped out so badly that it's unbelievable. I'm going to show you something. Some people be bugged out and some people don't. Nothing really holds any of this stuff in place. I can just take it off by lifting it. Just one gray piece in here. The windows or whatever these are, forget about that. That's how easy. Two studs. That's it. That's how it comes off. I don't know if they made this to be like a disassemble house and you can take it with you. Every single one of them will fall off. Well, this one doesn't even want to really stay in place because it's so heavy with all the stuff they put on it. And this, another one. I don't understand this light. It's a giant light in front of your house. And for a modern house, thumbs down. Lego, thumbs down. The design, thumbs down. I'll be changing the whole thing all the way around and making something way better out of it. You're going to see it bigger, furniture, the right way, a car. If you want to keep the car, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to build a little garage for it with the charger inside the garage, not on the side of your house. It's kind of creepy. But anyway, this is running too long. Thanks a lot for everything. Thanks a lot for the comments on the other video. This is what I've been doing. This is what I'm messing with. And next time you see all of these, it'll be more finished. Just waiting for parts to show up. It's kind of hard when you got over overseas because a lot of it, they don't have it here. Um, but you'll see it sooner or later. And I'm sorry this video ran so long, but I wanted to show you guys this stuff and let you know what I'm doing. Talk to you later. This is Mike from Rad Ride Heaven. Um, I'm still here, still going on, still building, still enjoy it. Have fun. Take care.